This is a very challenging video for me to make, but one I think is very important and needs to be made. Basically, those Guinness records that uh, I received for playing at 600 and 620 beats per minute, so two different ones, I have today, I watched my original performance at the uh, one I did at Guitar Center, and I was counting the pick strokes for each metronome click. And I believe the first three speeds that I did were 170, then 280, and then 350. I was picking every note at 170 beats per minute. I picked every note at 280 beats per minute, but I was falling short when it came to the 350 beats per minute. I am a firm believer that anyone who is claiming to set a speed record with guitar playing, you have to pick every single note. Every single note needs to be picked. People ask, why do all these speed guys keep playing Fight of the Bumblebee? That's what Guinness said we had to do. And when it comes down to it, you know, the people talk about this Guinness World Record. I was the last person to have a Guinness World Record, which was undeserved. Uh, myself, Vanny Tonin, and Tiago de la Vega, we are the three people that had Guinness World Records where we had to play Fight of the Bumblebee. This is why you got people online claiming they're the fastest by playing Flight of the Bumblebee because that's what Guinness required. As far as these other record companies, it, I, you can make up any criteria you want and send to them. It doesn't matter. The only reason why Flight of the Bumblebee got on with Record Setter is because I submitted my stuff to them. The same thing. Same idea as Guinness. Record Holders Republic. Again... The only reason why Fly the Bumblebee was picked is because people were trying to copy the whole Fly the Bumblebee thing. When it comes down to it, I didn't do it. And so everyone who was skeptical of my doing or claim, claiming that, you're right. I didn't do it. I thought I was at least going to be getting around the 400 range. I, did a, I didn't do that for the Guinness performance, but... The fact that I couldn't even hit 350 all the way, I mean, that's it right there. I Guinness gave me undeserved records. I mean, I watched the performances of the other record holders from Guinness, and uh, I know what I saw. But I'm not going to say what I saw. If somebody wants to know, you're welcome to private uh, send me a private message. But um, one of the hardest things about putting this video out is disappointing people. You know, Sick Pick has been very supportive of what I do. Uh, working with riff bands. You know, I'm an artist for Presonus, uh, for Axe Handler. And, you know, people, these people are putting my profile up on their website and whatnot, saying I'm a Guinness record holder. But, you know, it's, I don't, I never deserved it. I will be removing from my school's page and my instruction, or my instructor bio area, I'm taking all that off. I am going to be uh, piece by piece removing... Anything I have ever posted about my being a world record holder because I didn't break a damn thing. I felt like I did. It felt like a solid performance. Well, minus the 500 and 600, I was always iffy on that. I, you know, I didn't expect that to ever be approved by Guinness. I thought Guinness was really, really strict with everything that they did. Apparently not. Apparently not. And the reason why I went back and looked, it's like I trusted Guinness. I trust like this. Hey, if they said I did it, that's good enough for me. But working with Troy Grady from uh, you know Crack the Code, and like how he has shown, like basically dissected my playing. It's super slow motion stuff. 
and uh, talking about things that I'm doing with my hands I never knew I was doing. Recently, he flew me out to North Carolina for us to go into this uh, this lab where they hooked me up to all this uh, all these sensors and whatnot that would read give readouts of of my muscle activity, my muscle movements. And I was going through a warm up thing that I do if I want to be at like my peak playing uh, performance and. The, the most solid tremolo pick thing that I did at the end, or it's, there's actually a trailer out for it right now. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description for this video. If I forget, someone just comment and say, hey, put that up. But 21 notes per second was as fast as I was going that he clocked me out, which he said is uh, about 315 beats per minute with 16th notes. And then as I started to fatigue, I dropped down to uh, 20 notes per second. So that got me, you know, I was disheartened to hear that because I was like, well, that's like basically as fast as I can play. Like, I don't think I could actually make my arm go any faster than that when I walk into that little twitchy type picking thing that I do. That's what made me think, like, I think I might have to go discredit myself because, as I say... If you're going to break a world record for speed picking, the fastest guitar player type stuff, you have to pick every single note. None of this sliding around bullshit. That ain't a fucking record. It doesn't, anyone, anyone can take a guitar and just start sliding up and down. It doesn't count. Every note has to be picked. And I know I am responsible <laughs> for influencing this type of uh, silliness. I did not pick every single note at 600 beats per minute. I did not do it at 620. I couldn't even do it at 350 beats per minute. So I want to say thank you to everyone who actually supported me and believed what I did. And I, I feel like I've let you down. I feel like I've let these companies I'm associated with down. Friends down, let family down. <sighs> but I didn't do it. <sighs> and the reason why I think I'm getting emotional right now is because, you know, I did. I worked my ass off for that. I don't know how fast, and maybe 20, maybe 21 notes per second is my max speed. I don't know. Maybe if I worked at it, used some weight resistance while I'm picking, I could actually bump it up a couple, uh, maybe one or two notes per second. I doubt it. But, you know, I didn't do it. Those Guinness records that I have received, they're a memory brought about good experiences but unfortunately I didn't do it but I continue to keep trying to expand Mile High Shred's presence online by putting out quality instruction information answering people's questions I do have a lot of lesson package stuff I plan on doing. I'm also finally working more on my own material, which I highly enjoy. But even if someone wants to do a world record thing again for fastest guitar player, if Guinness wants to reinstate it, I am done with this. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. But if anyone has actually made it to the end of this video, uh, here's my idea. Here's my suggestion if someone actually wants to put together a fastest guitar player type thing that is very rigid and structured in such a way that every fine little detail is picked apart. Treat it like a strongman competition. You have various categories, various things you have to play in order to prove you're, f you're fucking fast. Like a single note just picking on a single string type of thing. 
where you just slow down the camera and you have to count every single pick stroke. Do something where you're just doing a simple scare run up and down or just down and up, maybe just one direction. Sweet picking, that should be included. Uh, even though it's not considered a shred type thing too often, I think finger picking should be involved. I think you should have something with distortion, without distortion, with acoustic, with the electric. Make it really, really varied. Because one thing I've, I've believed for a long time is just because I'm faster at one thing than somebody else doesn't mean they're not faster than me. I mean, guarantee Zach Wilder can haul ass through pentatonics way faster than me, but I don't practice those. He does. So when it comes down to it, who's the world's fastest guitar player? Probably nobody, because there are too many things that you can do on that instrument. It's like, use the fastest this one little riff. Who's the fastest that one little riff? That's what it really comes down to. Well, I appreciate everyone who stuck it out and watched this video, but um, things will just continue on as if the record never happened, because it didn't.